It might come as a surprise to you, but each year there are nearly twice as many motorized two-wheelers sold when compared to cars, and this trend is reflected in the sale numbers of electrified models as well. The family of electric scooters and mopeds is growing incredibly fast, due to the hardly noticeable running costs, extreme agility and the heavy traffic, and affordability unmatched by any other form of personal city transport, besides a bicycle of course. In today's video we are presenting to you the lineup of new e-scooter models that are going on sale in the nearest future to solve all the commuting needs of a busy city dweller. Welcome to Automotive Territory, subscribe to our channel and enjoy the ride! Aether 450 The 450 is the latest model of an e-scooter by the Indian manufacturer Aether Energy. The scooter is powered by an electric motor with a peak power output of 5 kW, allowing it to go from 0 to 25 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds and reach the top speed of 50 mph. The high-capacity 2.4 kWh lithium-ion battery ensures the true range of 47 miles, with an option of fast charging to 80% in one hour. The scooter is equipped with an onboard display that has built-in navigation tools and provides relevant driving information, but it can also be managed via a dedicated mobile application. The company provides its own network of charging stations around India, with an Aether grid option allowing to see the nearest ones on the map. The Aether 450 is priced at $1,750 plus $10 monthly maintenance fee. Kimco Ionics One of the largest Taiwanese motorcycle and scooter manufacturers, Kimco, is prepared to change the way people travel with its first all-electric vehicle called Ionics. Launched in July 2018, the lineup includes two models, new Mani 110 EV and more tuned-down Nice 100 EV that have similar step-through Vespa-inspired design but slightly different characteristics. Both are powered by 3.2 kW electric motors and come standard with one small built-in battery and two 650Wh removable ones, providing 37 miles of range. Nice 100 EV will ride at 15 mph with the top speed limited to 28 mph, while the new Mani 110 EV is expected to develop the maximum pace of 37 mph. According to Kimco, to bring the purchase price down, Ionic scooters will come with a personal rental battery, access to the company's battery stations, and 600 miles of monthly riding for a subscription fee of $10. Bicar Swiss Bicar presents itself as an ultimate transport solution that will make urban commute easier than ever. This three-wheeler, developed by two leading engineers of Zurich University of Applied Sciences, is something in between of a car and a scooter. Its size is nine times smaller than a regular car, so it is much easier to drive and park. At the same time, bike car provides a comfort and safety of an automobile, so you don't have to wear a helmet or worry about weather conditions. The vehicle is powered by electricity and can reach the top speed of 28 miles per hour. The range is yet unknown, but it is claimed to be enough for short trips like shopping and commute. Moreover, battery swapping stations will allow to have your vehicle running again in no time. The company has recently raised enough funds for further development, so bike cars may appear on the European streets in the next few years. App Scooter from Etergo Previously known as Bolt Mobility, this Netherlands-based startup was rebranded in 2018 and has been accumulating funds to start serious production of the app scooter that has been dubbed in the media as the Dutch Tesla on two wheels. The reason for such hyped claims is the impressive range, which varies between 50 and 150 miles on a charge, depending on the chosen number of battery packs, up to three to be exact. The motor power is also optional and varies between 2 and 7 kW, allowing the speeds up to 28 and 60 miles per hour respectively. The main advantage of the app scooter is that in essence it is an Android device that could be synced with your smartphone or controlled via a 7-inch touchscreen dashboard. It is worth noting that Etergo has a very ambitious plan to grow out of the startup status and truly dominate the world of electric scooter manufacturing by releasing more affordable models in the future. Nito NES Nito NES is a beautifully designed Italian-style scooter that is a perfect addition to Nito's bicycle, small push scooter and foldable moped lineup. It is available in two modifications and countless color combinations. The trim price at $5,700 NES 5 develops the max speed of 28 miles per hour and has a 37 miles range. However, if money and a driver's license are not an issue, it is worth throwing in another $600 for the NES 10. 
which demonstrates motorcycle-like performance with a 56 miles per hour top speed and 49 miles range. Both models have one 4 kW motor and grippy disc brakes. The full recharge time of a Nito is under 4 hours and it is certified to transport two people. Along with a scooter, the company is also developing a smart mobility app to make journey planning easy and enjoyable for NAS users. Nuke Rehu Motorcycles is a rather small Spanish motorbike manufacturer that however has great history behind it. The company has produced small displacement two-wheelers since 1934. To meet the rising demand for sustainable transport in Europe, they recently added to their lineup of dirt and sport bikes an electrified scooter version called the Nuke. Working in close cooperation with Bosch, two versions of electric motor were developed with 4 and 11 kW output and the range between 47 and 75 miles. Rihu classifies the less powerful modification as a moped, while the stronger sibling proudly carries a motorcycle title, though the maximum speed that you should expect from the two is just 47 through 75 miles per hour. The riding comfort is ensured by the front suspension with an inverted fork and a rear monoshock absorber with adjustable preload. If you prefer pedaling your way through the city or on the country want a more aggressive electric two-wheeler, like a motorcycle for example, then check out the rest of our videos. We have already covered these topics and the links will be displayed in the information cards. Let's continue! Vespa Elettrica Vespa is the world-famous Italian scooter manufacturer that builds motor vehicles since 1946. In over 70 years of existence, the subsidiary of the Piaggio Group managed to create and perfect an iconic scooter design that today is immediately associated with the brand. In 2016, the company presented its first fully electric concept that has already entered the production stage and is now ready to hit the European market. The vehicle, called Vespa Electrica, continues the company's design tradition but with a modern spin. Unlike many electric mopeds, it offers enough storage space for a helmet or two and has a 4.3-inch TFT color display with Bluetooth. A Vespa smartphone app and a Bluetooth-capable helmet are also under development to increase the scooter's connectivity and user-friendliness. The new model is powered by a 4 kW electric motor and has an expected range of 62 miles. New M Plus and NGT As of today, New is one of the most successful manufacturers of electric scooters in the world. Their smart two-wheelers are ridden across 20 countries by half a million people. By the end of 2018, they were introducing two all-new models to the lineup. M Plus, which is designed to carry two people and follows the motto, the city must be shared, and NGT which is the most capable performance scooter from NEW. Both models are equipped with reliable Bosch motors and removable Panasonic battery packs, but if M Plus outputs 1.2 kW, the NGT packs a punch of 3 and can reach 44 mph top speed. With a range of over 60 miles, riders are expected to be well covered for their daily commuting needs, but in case this is not enough, a 3.5 hours charging session will help you cover the return trip. New scooters stand out thanks to their advanced controlled and electronic braking systems, as well as smart features that include GPS location, diagnostics, and ride history. Honda PCX Electric The scooter is in essence an electric version of Honda's best-selling model PCX 150, so no wonder it shares its looks and design. The manufacturer claims that their main difference is the high-output electric motor, which is funny, as it only nets 1 kilowatt. PCX Electric works on two swappable lithium-ion batteries named Honda Mobile Power Packs, which are stored under its seat. The power packs can be charged both inside the scooter and separately from it, which technically allows to charge several batteries at once and have a spare one for replacement. Just as its gasoline brother, PCX Electric has an onboard information display that provides the relevant information regarding battery charge, vehicle condition and navigation. The model is expected to enter the market by the end of 2018, but unfortunately, the sales will be restricted to the Asian region only. Honda E-Cub The Honda Super Cub is the first ever motorcycle to cross the production mark of 1 million units, making it the most produced motor vehicle in human history. It currently serves riders across the globe in 160 countries, and to monetize on the success of this universally beloved moped, the Chinese Shanghai Customs came up with an electrified version of the two-wheeler. This is actually their second generation of the e -cub, and now it is powered by one kilowatt motor connected to a Panasonic battery, good for 28 miles of range, at the speed up to 28 miles per hour. 
This nimble thing has fantastic retro looks, front LED light and smartphone connectivity. Bear in mind that if you already ride a Honda Cub, you can simply request it to be converted instead of buying a brand new electric model. U-Jet Very often people are set from becoming an owner of a scooter due to the absence of a safe parking spot near home or working facility. But what if a scooter was super lightweight, foldable and could be easily parked in the hallway? The Luxembourg-based U-Jet offers just that. Its frame is made of carbon fiber alloy, which is 40% lighter and stronger than aluminum, and weighing just 108 pounds, it could be rolled even by the most fragile rider. There are two optional battery sizes, good for 44 through 94 miles of range and 1000 recharge cycles. Another feature that makes U-Jet stand out is the integration of a 3.6 kW ultra-thin brushless motor, suspension and disc brakes directly into the wheels. The scooter is equipped with LED front light with brightness sensors, anti-theft system alerts with remote shutdown, full smartphone connectivity, large smart cockpit with GPS and voice commands, and an HD camera for recording the rides. What do you think about the upcoming lineup of e-scooters? Will they be able to replace gasoline rumblers on the streets? Share your ideas in the comment section. Make sure to watch other videos about electrified city transport, the links are on the screen. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, like and share to help us grow. May the torque be with you!